Hello friends, welcome to my AI Mastery where you'll get to learn about the latest generative AI tools. In today's comparison video, we are going to compare the image generation capability of two of the best image generation tools available, Midjourney and Dolly by OpenAI. In this comparison video, we are going to use four super specific and detailed prompts for generation of images. And then we will find out which one of these tools gives us the best possible results. Here we go. So the first prompt we've got here is create a hyper-realistic image of a majestic lion with a flowing golden mane, sharp piercing eyes and muscular build set against a sun turned savanna with a distance mountain range. Using warm golden and amber hues with deep blue skies emphasizing the lion's powerful gaze and its mane blowing in the wind. Let's see what Mid Journey comes up with. My goodness, that's amazing. Just look at the lion, man. It can't be any realistic than that. The lion looks sharp. It is very rich in pixel. The color scheme, the blue sky, everything is itch perfect. So it's a 10 out of 10 from my side. Let's see what Doll E tool comes up with for the exact same prompt. Oh well, not a bad starting point to begin with. We've got everything we're looking for, a sharp looking lion. The only thing is that the color scheme used by the doll E tool is nowhere near the one used by Mitchell. It's not that rich. We can't see the blue skies. Overall, for this specific prompt, Mid Journey is the obvious winner. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the results from both of these AI tools. Let's go for the second prompt and we'll come up with something more creative and difficult and find out what sort of images these tools come up with. So the second prompt we've got here is generate a fantasy themed illusion of a mystical forest featuring towering ancient trees, glowing mushrooms and ethereal light beams filtering through the leaves within a dense forest where magical creatures like fairies and glowing orbs float in the air. With rich emerald green, soft purples and shimmering golds focusing on the magical atmosphere and the light filtering through dense foliage. Now that's a very detailed and a specific prompt. We designed it just to, just to try our best to confuse these tools and see what sort of an outcome we are going to get for such a complicated prompt. So first up we've got here is Mid Journey. Well this looks really nice. We've got the mushrooms, we've got dense leaves, we got a fairy within a trunk. This looks really nice and quite realistic. It's just that the kind of color scheme we asked for, that's, that's lacking in this picture. We don't have soft purples and shimmering golds. Uh, it's more of like, we can see green texture all over this image, but not a bad starting point. Let's see what Doll E tool has to share with us. Oh, that's amazing. That's an illusion of a uh, forest. We've got the trees, we've got some fairies. Instead of fairies, it came with butterflies, which is fine. We've got the color scheme as well. For So that's a draw in my opinion. Let's go for the next prompt, which is going to be the most difficult one. And let's see what sort of results we are going to get for this prompt. So this one says, create a vibrant action-packed scene depicting a pirate ship battle with two ships featuring billowing sails, cannons firing, and pirates swinging between the vessels, all set in a turbulent sea under storm clouds with lightning flashing in the background. Anything else we could come up with? Yeah, let's add some more details in it. Employing dark, stormy blues and grays with bright flashes of orange and yellow from cannon fire and lightning focusing on the intense action and chaos of the battle with an emphasis on the movement of the ships and the dramatic sky. We couldn't be more specific, detailed and complicated than that. So let's see what sort of an image Mid Journey comes up with. Oh, that's nice. We can see this turbulent sea over here. We can see these two ships. But the image could have been rich in colors. It's more like a black and white image. So that's something that shouldn't have been there. I mean, even though it looks realistic, but I personally think Mid Journey tried to become over smart and tried to make it look like something happening in the from the medieval era. But this really looks good and realistic. 
Where did, where did these dragons or these eagles and vultures coming from? Where did these come from? Anyway, just kind of added over here. I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. The image, but overall, it's a nice image. Let's see for the exact same prompt what Dolly has to share with us. Wow, that's amazing, man. We can see the color scheme. We can see the fires. We can see the blue sea. Some cannons over there. A guy on a box holding a cannon. I mean, this looks epic. This one is not as realistic as the one shared by Mid Journey, but the kind of color schemes this one has used. In fact, these guys have used some some of these flags, like giving the image of a pirate. The color scheme used by Doll E Tool made this image a definitely winner of the two. So, in my opinion, overall, Mid Journey did a much better job than Doll E Tool. Apart from that, Bit Journey also gives you much more customization options as well. So try experimenting with these prompts and let me know in the comments section what you think about these. If you got any questions related to any images or any project related to AI art, feel free to ask from us. Up until the next video, thanks for watching.